Hey beautiful, so I'm going to be showing you what I got from Target, Ulta, the 99 cent store, and I got one thing from Daiso, so if you guys are interested, go ahead and keep on watching. So first I'm going to start off with the 99 cent store, and I didn't get that much, so this haul won't be that long. But the first thing I got was this Hello Kitty coloring set, and I colored the first one already as you guys can see and it comes with these color pencils and I think it was eight stickers the color pencils in here aren't that great as you can see it's a little light when I colored it so the color pencils aren't that great but there's eight sheets of coloring sheets and I thought the stickers were really cute so and I thought it was just something fun to do when I'm bored and I love Hello Kitty so that's a plus Next things I got were these um, panty liners, and these are always, I think, always a dollar, at least at the stores I buy them at, they're like 10 for 10, so, yeah. Um, the next thing I got was this glam glue, nail glue, and for some reason, every single time I get a new nail glue, Every single time I use it, after one use, the glue like closes the the um, the bottle shut, so I can't use it again. So I don't know how to fix that. So if you guys have any advice, go ahead and tell me in the comments below. Okay, so the next thing I got from the 99 cent store is this Vital Sassoon Pro Series. And this was a dollar ninety nine, and it's a foaming air mousse and boost and lift for volume. And if you guys can't see, of course, my hair is really flat. So I thought I'd try this out, and I also got the color cream. This was also a dollar ninety nine. So this is for um, moisturizing and providing a shine. For colored hair and my hair is dyed so yeah if you guys can see my hair kind of looks dead so I just thought like a shine would be kind of nice um the next thing I got was from Nordstrom Rack and I was actually returning something and then I was looking for something to either find something to exchange or just return it so I found this when I was walking. It's um, a rain jacket from Columbia. And this is what it looks like. And I don't have one in Boston. Like all of the waterproof jackets that I have in Boston are a little thicker. So this one's light for like for when it rains and it's not that cold comes with this hood and it has that little thing and this was $60 so yeah that's the only thing I got from Nordstrom Rack and then next thing I got from Target is this hair skin and nails gummy so if you guys saw my one of my um, 99 cent store hauls, you'd see that I got this um, hair nails um, pills, and there wasn't that much in there. So, and I heard about this from I like Whaley. I'll put her YouTube name either here or in the description box below. And um, yeah, she's a YouTuber, and I really like her so. You guys should follow her if you guys um, want. But yeah, it's um, with Biotin and it just helps with your hair and skin and nails. And she told, she said that she noticed the difference in her nails. So, and this is like um, strawberry flavored gummies. So it does taste good too. So that's always a plus. And it's always easier to take this rather than taking pills, in my opinion. Um, 
The next thing I got from Target <laughs> were some Snickers. And this was a dollar. And I've seen these at the dollar store. But I never knew that it was like a dollar from other stores too. So that was cool. And then the last two things that I got from Target were our presents for my friend. Her birthday is coming up and she likes wall art. So, and she likes those like Eiffel Tower, like Paris, France, like city types of um, wall art. So, I found this at Target and it's like a canvas and stuff. But this, what's interesting about this is that it's a dry erase and magnetic canvas which I thought was pretty cool so you can just write on here and put magnets and like just put like notes on here or pictures and if you can see on this picture right here they mag they had they used the magnet to put a photo there and then they wrote with a dry erase marker there so this came with a marker and with four four magnets and they're in the back here there's four magnets here and I thought they were really cute magnets actually and then there's there's the marker so I'm really hoping she like this and like that's the design of the canvas so yeah I'm really hoping she likes this I thought it was pretty cool because you get more than one use out of it so yeah this was $20, I believe. And the next thing I got was also um, Paris themed wall art. This is also for her. So I thought this was super, super cute. And it actually matches my walls, which I thought was pretty cute. Like, if I didn't get this for her, I would keep it for myself, to be honest. But, um, yeah. This is what it looks like. So, it's just like a bunch of like nails and then they connected it by string. And I feel like this would be easy to make, but with the frame and everything, like I thought it was super cute. And this one was $25. And this is pretty heavy, like good quality frame and stuff. So, really hoping she likes this one. If not, I would keep it. But yeah. So next I'll be showing you what I got from um, Ulta. And everything I got was a NYX product. And um, it's, they had a buy one get one 50% off for all NYX products. But when I looked at the receipt, it wasn't 50% off, which was weird. So I like calculated it by um, giving 50% off of the lowest price items and I was like they discounted me short like $3 or something so yeah I didn't know what was up with that but I didn't really want to deal with it to be honest. So the first thing I got was this to go palette and um I don't really want to swatch it for you guys just because um, I don't want to open this up yet. So, but I swatched it inside the store and I really like the contour um, shade. And the blush looked a little weird in the store because they just left it open and I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But yeah the the other colors were pretty nice but the contour one was really pretty in my opinion and I really just like neutral palettes so I thought I'd give this a try and this was about $17 and the next thing that I got was this natural palette and um, I've used I use this all the time this is the third one that I've bought and um, I don't want to open this one up either, so I'll sh show you guys my old one so I can swatch it for you guys. So, this is what the colors look like. And I use this color a lot, and this color, and I usually use this color, but 
instead of using this color, I use the color from ColourPop. And then these three I barely use, but this is good for the brow bow, brow, brow bone. So, yeah. Those are these three. And that's what it looks like on my hand. It's not that noticeable. So I don't really use these colors. You can't you can only see this color I feel like. I'll swatch the next three. And those are the last three. This one, this one, and this one. So yeah, I really like this palette for the last three colors. I usually use these two though. I think this is a really nice color for um, the crease and this is a really nice color for the outer V look. So yeah, I really like this palette and I think it's about six or seven dollars, the natural palette. And next things I got was this eyebrow gel and um I've always wanted to try this and it was like out of stock online for like the longest time so I finally picked this up and I wasn't sure which color would be the best for me um and this one's in the one chocolate and if you guys can see my eyebrows I'm wearing it right now and it's not actually really nice but I feel like it dries up pretty quickly so it's kind of hard to spread it when it's already dry but yeah I think it's a pretty nice um thing to uh, I mean a pretty nice eyebrow gel though and this was um, about seven dollars so the next thing I got was this soft cream matte lip cream and it's in the color um, Transylvania and yeah these um, lip creams are really smooth going on but it dries matte so but it takes a while for it to dry to be honest and if you guys haven't ever tried the NYX lip creams, I suggest you do. I have three, uh, yeah, three other shades of the soft cream lip matte. The soft matte lip cream. I have three other shades, and they apply really smoothly and nice. And but it takes a while for it to turn matte, but it does turn matte. And I think it's really nice. It just feels really nice when you apply it and everything. And the next things that I got, I got this um, um, Simply Red lip cream. It's their line of Simply Red ones. They also have Simply Vamp and Simply Pink and there's different colors it's like variations on colors of red variation on colors of vamp b colors vamp colored lip products and um variations on pinks so yeah you guys should check that out and that's what it looks like it looks like a lip crayon and you just twist it up and down And I'm actually wearing that on my lips right now. And this is what it looks like. I thought it was a really pretty color and I swatched it in the store. So I decided to get this. And I love, love, love red lips. The next thing that I got was this high voltage lipstick. And I actually don't have anything in this 
um, line of lipstick from NYX. I actually have a lot of NYX lipsticks, but um, this is pretty new and I've never gotten one before now. And this is in um, the number 16 and it's called Feline. And it's a dark, dark red. Or purplish color. I don't know what that would classify as, to be honest. But either way, I like the color. And <coughs> yeah. The next thing that I got was this jumbo lip pencil and I actually have um, I think two of these and I have this color already but <clears throat> this is how much I've used of my old one so yeah it's pretty short now in my opinion and I really like this <clears throat> Oh wait, I guess they're different colors. I thought they were the same color. Anyways, this one is in deep red and this is my favorite color. And I haven't sharpened it yet, so, cause I left my sharpener in Boston, but that's not really the color. If I actually got more of the product, it would build up to like this type of color. It's a lot darker when there's actually more product in there. And this maroon one, I thought this was the same color, but I guess <coughs> I got the wrong color. So this is what it looks like. And in the maroon color maroon that's what it looks like and these ones you have to sharpen <clears throat> and if you just get a big sharpener you can just sharpen it like that and I think it's about the same size as their um, jumbo eye pencils so let's watch this one and that's the color. It's similar to Feline, but a little more red, I think. And still a good color. I'm happy with this purchase still, even though I was hoping to get another one of these. But anyways, yeah. Um, we'll see. But this is actually a really, really pretty color, and I wish I could, I could show you guys, but I just don't have a sharpener with me right now. So, yeah. I recommend these jumbo lip pencils. I think they're really pretty. And everything from NYX is really pretty, in my opinion. Um, I usually just get their um, lipsticks from NYX, to be honest, but... This palette I really love. So this is my favorite along with um, their lipsticks. And I have like maybe like 20 of them from NYX. So and they're pretty affordable. Um, I think the jumbo lip pencils are about like $5. And the rest of them it's around like 4 to $7 for each lipstick. So it's not too expensive. So, that's all I got from, oh no, I got one more thing from Ulta, this um, eyebrow tint, and um, I tried this last night, and it's like a really nice um, to add color, if you can see that, compared to that, that's what they say will happen when you use this product, and to be honest, um, I agree with this photo. It adds more um, 
more color, but it also is very, um, like, light. So, it's not a super, super dark, um, eyebrow. It's like a riddle, really subtle, natural looking eyebrow. And if that's what you guys like, I recommend this. But if you want a more, um, statement, dark, 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 unnatural looking eyebrow I think I would recommend the eyebrow gel because that's a little bit more darker and it's easier to make a really statement look eyebrow with that but for this it's like a really subtle like everyday type of um, eyebrow in my opinion and this was I think seven dollars Let's see. Yeah. Um, so the last thing that I got was um, from Daiso. And I only got one thing from Daiso because they didn't have anything new in the store. So everything that I ever want, um, I already have because they don't have any new items. So... Um, I've always seen this and I never bought it because I already have one. It's also from Daiso, but the other one that I have kind of, um, sucks because it's really small. So I got, um, I got a, um, yoga mat and it was $7 and I also looked for one at Target and it was like $30. So I was like, I'll just get the one that's from Daiso that's only $7. Because, you know, it's just a yoga mat. I don't think it needs to be super high quality. It's just something to do workouts on. But yeah, the one, the other one that I got from Daiso was a $3 one. And if you guys have seen that, I wouldn't recommend buying it unless it's for a kid maybe. Because it's like really small. And then like my whole, my body didn't fit on it when I would like do like sit-ups or push-ups or anything. But this one's actually pretty long, and um, I recommend this one for $7. I think it's a great deal, rather than $30. So, yeah. So, this is... So, this is the yoga mat. And it comes with this thing, so that you can carry and bring it around and just store it properly so the three dollar one from Daiso doesn't come with this thing so it's really hard to wrap it up so I just leave it like this without anything constricting it so it's really hard to store it anywhere and it's hard to bring it anywhere because it's not stored or like um, put together like this and this comes with a handle and uh, this um, this part is stretchy and you just roll it up and you're ready to go so I think this is really useful and it's um, a pretty good yoga mat for seven dollars so if you guys are looking for a cheap yoga mat and you have a Daiso next to you I recommend checking it at Daiso rather than Target because $30 compared to $7 is ridiculous, so th it's not a bad yoga mat, it's like that thick, it's like a regular yoga mat that I've seen, and it's 24 by 68 inches, so this is what it was wrapped in, $7 from Daiso, so yeah, this is the last thing in my haul. And yeah, I would really recommend this if you guys are looking for a cheap yoga mat. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!